Hello and welcome to this video. Meditation balances the physical body, spirit and soul. Why meditate? Meditation is a natural way to create greater peace and well-being within the self. Meditation works directly and indirectly to harmonize and balance the entire central nervous system, which creates greater flow of your energy. By meditating, you are positively redirecting your thoughts away from the analytical mind into a peaceful place where mind and body can relax. Whenever you meditate, a strong polarization of your life force occurs. This brings about certain changes within the physical body, such as reducing your stress levels. Meditation is an act of consciousness that has the ability to free you from the analytical mind by crossing over the bridge into the right hemisphere of the brain, which lifts the consciousness beyond the realms of logic. This action also helps to activate the three higher senses. Meditation also helps to raise one's consciousness towards greater awareness of the dense physical body and its personality, giving the opportunity to explore any habits and conditioning that you may wish to change. Meditation is a valuable tool to transform any aspects of the ego, such as fear, anger and emotional blocks that are preventing you from living in love and joy. This is a diagram that illustrates the differences between the left and right brain orientation. The meditation that I use and teach is known as creative visualization meditation, which mainly focuses on the development of one's three higher senses, those of clairvoyance, clairaudience and clairsentience. The development of the three higher senses emanate from right brain activity, which is the spiritual abstract side of the brain, whereas the left hemisphere is responsible for the logical thinking, the physical world. In order to meditate, it is of vital importance to first calm the logical mind in order to ascend beyond mind, otherwise you will have the constant flow of chit-chat the logical thought vibration that interferes with the pure state of no mind meditation. This is an example of no mind meditation, a basic method to relax. Find a calm place to sit in, which could be in a room or out in nature. Close your eyes and focus on emptying your mind of thought. As your mind becomes blank, focus on breathing in deeply. Simply focus on the sound of your breathing. Make your breath your mantra, the sound that will take you within. Now focus your awareness on a spot in the centre of your forehead, just above your eyes. Hold your attention on your inner eye, the third eye. Focus on being peaceful whilst looking into the dark space. Hold that place of peaceful nothingness. Keep focused on your state of peacefulness in the void. Look deeper into the stillness. Do not put something there, but wait until what is already there opens to your consciousness. Something may appear to you. In your stillness, study what has appeared for you. It could be a form of light. Enter that light and see, feel or ask yourself from within why it has appeared. Follow what may come from the light. When the meditation comes to an end, make sure that you ground yourself properly by bringing yourself fully back into the physical body and then open your eyes. If you are not guided or led by a teacher during such a meditation, the time of return is governed by the soul of the individual that oversees all things in relation to the spiritual journey that you have undertaken. Here are the three basic steps that explain how this form of meditation works. The first step, imagination. Imagination is connected to the logical mind. If, for example, 
you were to imagine yourself standing on a beach. The logic would automatically take you there. But why? Because at some point in time you have been there before. Therefore the mind and its imagination feel safe there. It's a form of memory recall. Hold the image or feeling of the beach because it will take you into step two. In creative visualization meditation, the mind is used as a tool to ascend into a higher state of consciousness by taking control over the logical influences in order to trust what is being experienced. This is due to the fact that the logical mind continually tries to control your life, which all developing meditation students need to first master. The logical mind is skeptical and will create fear as a form of protection because it does not trust what it cannot see or feel. This is because the logical mind is mechanical in its thinking and can be conditioned, which often creates fear in order to control. Step 2 Creation From the plane of imagination, you have now stepped up into the creation of what you see. For example, the creation of what you see is the picture of the beach, which is an image that is perceived by you in the present moment of your meditation. This is due to the fact that you are now stepping out of the physical time zone of Earth that controls the lower mind. From this state of mind, you are crossing over the bridge from the analytical left into the intuitive right hemisphere of the brain. As you enter the right hemisphere of the brain, you are less responsive to the influences of time and distance, and the logic no longer has a direct influence upon the physical thoughts. Your creative thoughts have become more astral in their projection, whereby those aspects of time and distance can no longer hold or control you in the third dimension. From here you can create or add more to your beach, which will take you up into step three, that of perception. The third step of perception takes you into the streams of higher consciousness and more deeply into developing the higher senses. Perception gives the opportunity to study what it is that is being witnessed during the meditation, which is now free from the control of the lower mind. From here you are able to move on into the experiences. Such a flow will allow new experiences to appear where you will find that you are the most liberated being. You are now two steps above the logical mind and its influences. From this third level of meditation, you are able to experience the depths of your inner stillness, where the greater awareness of the higher planes of consciousness can be grounded and harnessed into all levels of your consciousness. In this manner, you are rewiring the left hemisphere of the brain to become more accepting of the abstract, and the reality of the experience becomes grounded. This is only possible without interference of any kind from the lower planes of logical thought. To summarize, in order to find the freedom that is a natural aspect of meditation, you must first learn to overcome any fears you may have in relation to surrendering to the unknown. Through the development of your meditation, your soul qualities will move closer to the liberation that your higher consciousness seeks. This will release you from the lower mind, the ego and emotional forces. The forces of the logic and emotions have dominated the life force for thousands of years and numerous lifetimes. But if you are seeking to meditate, then it is a clear indication that you are ready for the liberation and transformation of the lower nature. I trust that this film may have helped you in some way or some form. And if you have any questions, please get back to me and reach me on the information provided at the end of this film. Thank you for watching. Love and Light, Ralph.